Hey, it's Paul Zwieben from the Zwieben team of Douglas Elliman. Happy Friday, July 3rd, 2020. So I know I speak to a lot of different groups when I do these videos every day. Um, but as an entrepreneur, <clears throat> if you are an entrepreneur or if you work for somebody or if you're thinking about starting a business, you are going to be set up with objections daily. So imagine me, I have a listing and it's worth a million dollars. Let's say $10 million. And a broker sends me an email and puts an offer in for $8.5 million. Now, the way we work is when we have a listing, in our head, it's our property. So we're going to negotiate just like we would negotiate for ourselves. So they put an offer for 8.5 and my first reaction, it's a knee jerk reaction. I'm like, why don't you go? But then I back off. I don't say that. I may think it. And I say, let me present the offer to the sellers and I'll get back to you. Now, if I responded in my previous way saying, why don't you go yourself? That puts the other side in a better position of negotiating. So really the best thing to do when you're faced with objections is to breathe in before you respond and then respond. And don't fall into the trap of being manipulated. Remember, you are jousting and you are jousting for your seller or your buyer or a client that's not in the real estate business. So remember, breathe before you respond. And sometimes no response is the best form of negotiating. Have a great day, everybody, and have a good July 4th weekend. We'll talk about freedom tomorrow. Bye.